Hey everyone, we're Kyle and Casey Wallace, and today we're doing another Moving To video. Kyle, where are we today? Today we are in beautiful Spring Hill, Tennessee, and from the last time we did one of these videos in Spring Hill, a couple of years ago, there's been a lot of changes. It's still a fantastic place to move, and we can't wait to show you exactly why. So as we all know, the great migration took place over the last couple of years and Spring Hill had a ton of growth. In fact, I think we had around 15,000 people move to the area, which puts our population right at around 60,000 people. I'm sorry, did you say that right? 15,000 people in the last 24 months? I mean, that is wild growth, but it also makes a lot of sense because Spring Hill is the perfect intersection of affordable housing, safety, great schools, and a great place to build community. And one key factor that's really important in knowing is that I think the business world here in Spring Hill has seen an equal amount of growth. We've had several new businesses come to town, several old businesses expand. So Kyle, tell us just a little bit about what that looks like. Well, in years past, GM has kind of been the business scene here in Spring Hill. And while that plant continues to thrive, they're also adding a very large addition to that campus in the battery plant. So that's gonna create a lot of local opportunity and bring in more people from out of state. But on top of that, Spring Hill is no longer just the GM plant. We have an amazing local company called Groove Life. In fact, I'm wearing one of the rings that they make. They ship product all over the world, a great community, a lot of opportunity there. And now when you look at the landscape of Spring Hill, there are manufacturing plants and businesses popping up all over. So while Spring Hill used to be the bedroom community where you would go and sleep and commute to Franklin or Nashville, now there are a ton of opportunities to just have an all-encompassing life right here in Spring Hill. So let's talk about the school district in Spring Hill. There's something unique about the city and that is that the city is actually split in between two counties. The north side of Spring Hill is Williamson County and the south side of Spring Hill is Murray County. So a lot of people when relocating to the area ask us, is it important that we stay in Williamson County because they have the number one schools in the state? And our reply is always, listen, Spring Hill Murray County Schools have a great reputation. So it's truly a preference thing on where you wanna land, but I think if you love the city, then you'll also love the schools. And Casey, at the beginning of this video, we talked about one of the main attraction points of Spring Hill being affordability. So in terms of housing prices, the average home price here in Spring Hill is just a hair over $540,000. And that's significantly, I mean, I'm talking potentially up to a quarter of a million dollars less than what the average is as a whole in Williamson County. There's a lot of opportunities for no matter what stage of life you find yourself in here in Spring Hill for housing. You can find homes in Spring Hill, like a, a townhome, a great starter place for the mid to high 200,000s. But there's also a lot of neighborhoods that are considered luxury level neighborhoods with beautiful finishes in the low $1 million ranges. But as a whole, there's a ton of great thriving neighborhoods here in Spring Hill in that sweet spot of I'd say mid 400,000s all the way up to 850,000. So we're standing up here at the Battle of Spring Hill and I'm getting this delicious smell of pizza and oh my gosh, Viking pizza is one of my favorites in Spring Hill along with Nelly's. If you're looking for great food in the area, we've got several places. We've got Cali Burrito if you're looking for great Mexican food. We did just hear that In-N-Out is making its way to Middle Tennessee, but in the meantime, The Spot, which is a place in Spring Hill to grab a great burger is here. We've got Grecian Family Restaurant. We've got some great Italian food restaurants. How, what are some of your favorites? Martin's Barbecue. There's a, just a lot of smaller places that you can go in and grab a great meal. And you know, if you're looking for more of the speed of, of kind of the national chains, there is a ton of options in the crossing at Spring Hill. Casey, you spend a lot of money over there. What do they have over in the crossing? We've got Target, Home Goods, Ulta. We've got Old Navy. We have Kohl's and Kirkland's for Home Goods. We have Marshall's on the north side of Spring Hill. So. Truly, there's nothing lacking here in Spring Hill. You can drive up to Franklin to get more of the boutique feel or down to Columbia, but truly everything that you need is right here in the city. So one of the things we hear over and over again from people moving here is how amazing it is to quickly build community in the city of Spring Hill. Casey, tell us a little bit about that. So I can tell you this, with everyone that's relocated here over the last several years, 
There are so many ways to get plugged in, whether that's church, a small group from church, we have the Spring Hill Moms Group, Mother's Day Out, we have tutorials and homeschools. There are so many opportunities to get plugged in and really experience the special community that Spring Hill has to offer. I think we would regret not mentioning the incredible things to do here with families here in Spring Hill. So we have great parks. We have Harvey Park right in the middle of town. We have the splash pad off of Port Royal on the south side of town. Uh, we also have a golf course that's beautiful. It's just recently been renovated. Um, there's a lot of things that you can do with Spring Hill. It's Don't not, forget the movie theater. And movie theater too. Spring Hill is no longer the place that you move to and have to go to Franklin or Columbia for activities. There really is so much to do for you and your family. Thank you so much for watching our video today all about moving to Spring Hill, Tennessee. It's been so great to have you with us. And I tell you what, if you have any questions at all, feel free to call us, text us, email us. We want to answer all of your questions. Do us a favor, click that like button, subscribe while you're at it, and we'll see you next time.